Hello everyone and welcome back. So I was working on my video for the show names for the horses on Minecraft, but then I saw that this update dropped for Rancho Rivershine. The mountain trail is now open. I am so excited to see that. There's also now wild dappled horses. There's some changes to the tack colors and the menus and some other hot fixes and something about goats. So I'm really excited to go into the mountain trail and see it and try the new races if there are any. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Before we get started though, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I would absolutely love to have you. Okay, let's go see. Ooh, for a while now, I've been thinking about opening up a new trail for competitions, but I wasn't sure if it might prove too difficult to compete on the terrain. But if you're ready, come and see me. Oh, we got to go see Madeline. And then there's wild horses in Crystal Lake. But we're not going to worry about that right now. I'm not going to get distracted right off the bat <laughs> like I normally do. So where did we leave off? I have not played since my last video. Oh, that's right. We got this cute new little foal. I forgot. Little Annie. <laughs> and mini star. Oh wait, I need to name that horse. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember exactly where I left off. It's been a while. Let's take good old Spartan. He's a fast horse. Oh, he's dirty. Oh, poor guy. Okay, Miss Madeline. Are you going to be up here yet? Yes, here she is. All right, quest. I thought the competitions might be too difficult on Rocky Mountain, but it looks like you can handle a challenge. That's right. Kind of. <laughs> as soon as you open the trail, I'll announce that a new competition will be held there. Oh, it's going to be expensive though, huh? I forgot that I have to pay for it. I'm probably going to be too poor. She gave me half of the funds. So I need to go talk to Jay. Oh, if she only gave me half, I had 22000 to start with, so I should have enough. I really hope I don't have to go grind some races before I can unlock it. We shall see. Hello, Jay. Or Jai. I, I still don't know for sure which it is. Rocky Mountain. 11,000. Okay, not too bad. Yes, it is unlocked. Gotta get my climbing gear ready. Okay, so does that mean it's open right away? Or do I have to wait a day? Or how does this work? Is it right here? Yes, Rocky Mountain. Here we go. Oh, I'm excited. Whoa, that's a big bridge. Oh, it's really pretty. I love the trees. It's so peaceful. This is really nice. So we've got the wild horse pin. So here's where the dappled wild horses are going to be. I wonder how expensive it is. Oh, and then there's also a new training arena specifically for flexibility. Oh, right here. So this is just another training arena. Main salon. Oh, and then the mountain statue for flexibility, I'm guessing. This is a really big map. Wow. Let's go to the main shop. I don't know if it's open yet or not. Um, okay, this is going to be kind of difficult to navigate. How do I get down? <laughs> oh, I got to cross the bridge again. There's a lot of big bridges around here. Here is the new statue. I like the pose. That's nice. Man, they weren't kidding by saying they didn't know if it would be too rough terrain to race in because it's like a lot of mountainous trails and stuff. So empty house. Oh, it's okay. It's not out yet, but it's good to see that we're going to have main styles coming that's exciting oh there's the goats we found the goats oh they're so cute oh my gosh hi guys don't be scared i want to take one home can i have a goat let's catch the goat come here goat can i interact no no horse answered your whistle. Um, yes, he did. He's right here. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, the goats are so cute. I love them. And I love that they actually run from the horse, too. Makes them feel more alive. First, I want to go see the... Why is my character... She was riding weird. Did you see that? <laughs> anyway, I want to see the flexibility training arena real quick. And then we're going to go back to town. So this is what this looks like. I guess just go like this. 
Of course, I don't have it paid for, but this looks like the gist of it. I never really train flexibility up on my horses. It's nice when it's up there because they can turn a lot sharper, but I don't spend the time. Whoa, he just slid stop. That's new. How did I do that? Hold on. Oh, okay, you just hold the button down. Oh, that's cool. Or you can slowly... That is awesome. I didn't see that in the patch notes. Go to the entrance and let's go back to town and see how expensive it's gonna be to unlock this round pin. I have a big feeling I don't have nearly enough money. I guess we can check out the, uh, oh, the park office. That's where I go. Wild horse mountain pin. Oh, I have enough. Awesome. Of course, it'd be nice to upgrade it, but I will take it for now. Because now I just need to wait for a herd of wild horses to get there. Okay, cool. So where is the tack shop? Um, right there. Oh, Spartan. I'm gonna hitch him up so he doesn't wander off. There we go. I'll be right back. So I guess a menu changed in here or something. I think I read it. Oh yeah, and then they also have these little saddle bags too. So let's talk to you and see. Orange blanket. I don't think I have the orange one yet. I'm gonna buy it because I believe I only had two more colors to get. So we'll go check. The menu changed in the barn, I think, when you're putting the blankets on. <gasps> ooh, is that a, ooh, it's a dapple. Oh, that's really nice looking. Wow, it's so pretty. I need a dapple gray in my life. I wonder if it's only dapple. No, because then you could get like dappled palominos, probably. If you breed them, that would be so nice. Oh my gosh, I almost hit the wall. That was almost really bad. All right, blankets. Not those blankets. These blankets. Wool blanket. Okay. So this is the new menu. So rather than it having just all the list, it shows you the actual color. And either there was new colors added or I was completely wrong on being so close. <gasps> there was new colors because pink or purple was not there before. And now I have to have a pink and purple blanket. I like this color too, this light blue, that's pretty. Unicorn, what? I want a unicorn. There's so many tail bows and saddlebags. This is so awesome. I love how often this game is updated. So they have leather boots, bell boots, polo wraps, sheepskin, square, western, riding blanket. I have so much tack to collect, it's not even funny. <laughs> okay, while I'm in here, I'm just gonna brush him. He is filthy and it's been driving me crazy. Wow, he was really dirty. So I am gonna put him back out into the pasture. He looks so much better clean, oh my gosh. Hmm, I need to free up space because I have to get some dapple in my herd. So, who to sell? This is always the hard part. Or I guess I could retire too, I don't have to sell. So who's gotta go? Maybe one of these babies once they're grown. Maybe Noel. It might be time to retire Noel. I really wish there was an option for a 16 horse barn. I mean, you guys know me. I have so many horses. Oh yeah, I still have granite I need to train. And then magic. His stats aren't too bad. I think I say that every time I play. And why is he even in the barn? He shouldn't even be in the barn. <laughs> I don't have to worry about his potential going down. Oh. And I still need a Palomino, that's right. I got a Palomino, but then I sold it because I wanna upgrade the round pin, that's right. It's all coming back to me now. Okay, as per usual, I'm gonna go do some races, waste some time, and if wild horses come to Rocky Mountain, you know we will definitely go and check them out. Even though they'll be low level, I wanna see them. So I'll check back in, and hello, Noel. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. So I went ahead and retired Noel and Magic and then realized I wasn't recording. So yay. <laughs> but now I'm on my way to the auction house because I am going to sell Gunner. Kind of just to the point where 
I want to have all higher level horses and that way we can open up the barn for more breeding. So goodbye, Gunner. $24,000, that's pretty good. It does make me sad. I hate having to part with any of my horses, but it is what it is. 26,000, I will take it. I still wanna keep granite for her coat, bubbles for his coat. Although I would kind of like to find a different Appaloosa. I don't know. And then Delilah because she is the paint. Still trying to get some more paints. So that gave us some boost to our income. And I think, oh, the Rocky Mountain Race. I don't know if it's available yet, but let's see. Yeah, it's still locked. So maybe tomorrow it's gonna unlock because I had to actually have it built. And now my retirement pasture is full to upgrade it. Okay, Bubbles is taken care of. I think everybody is taken care of that needs to be. So I'm just gonna go to sleep early. That way we can hopefully see the Rocky Mountain race. I hope it's not too hard, though I'm kind of thinking it's going to be since they specifically said, oh, it's gonna be difficult. <laughs> Do I have crops going? Oh, two days. Okay, then off to bed we go. Farmer is in town, the carpenter is in town. <gasps> Sunday cheers. Oh yes, the race, it's unlocked. Wow, there's a lot of things. So the flexibility training, I didn't see, oh my gosh, I have so many quests now. I didn't see any wild horses being in the area though, so we're not gonna be able to check those out yet, but we can try the race. I think my highest trained horse um, who is it? I think it's this horse over here. Measles, <laughs> AKA Starry Night. Yeah, she's completely maxed out basically. Her baby can uh, be watched by the other mares while we're gone. Okay, Rocky Mountain, beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert, right off the bat. So I'm kind of thinking I should start in reverse since this is my best horse. I don't want to waste her energy on an easy race. So I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm probably really gonna regret this. Oh well. That's already a really tall jump. Oh my gosh. Okay, so far so good. As long as there's not super tight turns, I think we should be okay. Oh no. It's okay, it's okay, we got this. Coming around a turn. These are kind of close together. Okay, we got it. I probably could have cut through the trees right there. <gasps> oh my gosh, I forgot to watch my, uh, what's it called, stamina. Kind of slow down over some of these jumps. So far, the Rivershine Town expert track is a lot worse than this. That track is hard. So mainly, this is a lot of galloping. Endurance seems to be really important. And then jump, obviously, because the jumps are really tall. How long is this race? Here's another combo. So far, so good. And another one. Oh my gosh. Up and over, up and over. <gasps> oh, that was a tight turn. Oh, and right before the finish line. Oh, I still did it, though. And with six seconds to spare. That race was not very difficult, but then again, I have a really well-trained horse, so I'm sure that had a lot to do with it. Really good money too. So Miss Measles, AKA Starry Night. I wonder if I could fit both names on there. Cause I like the name Measles. <laughs> it's, it's funny. I don't think it's gonna fit. Let's call her Starry Measles. There, Beth of Beth, best of both worlds. If you're not familiar with the whole measles thing, one of my Ranch of Rivershine videos when she was born, my first thought was that she looked like she had measles. So that's kind of where that came from. So I think I might have enough money now to actually upgrade to an intermediate round pin for Rocky Mountain. I wonder if they'll, well, probably not. Um, be nice if I finished my thought, huh? <laughs> I wonder if in the auction house there'll be dapple horses now. We can check that out too, since we're in town. 
let's check out the horses in today's stock. Are there going to be any dapples? Legendary horses. Wow, those are some good stats. So we've got an Appaloosa, a Dun Appaloosa. Oh, that's kind of cool. Light, a silver light bay. Wow. Ooh, an apricot done with badger marks. That's neat looking. So far, there has not been any of the dapples in the auction house. So I do believe it's probably going to be wild horses only. Okay, so confirmed they are not in the auction house. Oh, how cute. Why did you walk up to me? That was adorable. So let's go to the park center place and see if we can upgrade the round pen. I would prefer to have an intermediate horse than a novice horse. Yeah, I do have enough. Okay, so now we've got the intermediate for all the pens. Gosh, they get so exp 112,000 for the advanced mountain pen. That's a lot of money. I just need to catch wild horses whenever I can just to sell them at this point because that's going to be a lot of racing. Okay, so now for the saddlery. Let's check it out. Oh, is it the pink blanket? I think it is the pink blanket and pink leg wraps. Oh my gosh. And a purple halter. Ah, okay. How much money do I have? I don't have a lot. Pink blanket. Okay, I have enough for the blanket. So definitely gonna buy that. The pink polo wraps are only 500. Not bad. Purple rope halter, 800. I need more tack. I just don't have a lot of tack. I'm going to get the red Western saddle pad. I guess that's going to be it for now. I was actually able to get a lot more than I thought. Okay, awesome. We got more tack. Where did my horse go? This horse needs training desperately. I guess while I'm here, I can take her for some jump training. Now that we have Granite's training in for the day grab another one of my higher level horses and try the other race. My mismatching tack. My character needs new clothes too. I want to match my horse. I want to be one of those people. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if she's good enough for advanced. We can try it. This trail already is a lot more windy. Oh my gosh, what's happening? I go into the arena here. Ooh. Gonna kind of take my time through there. Okay. Got seven more obstacles to go. Can I cut through here? <gasps> Where's the jump? Oh, did I pass it? Oh, I'm like, gosh, I went the wrong way. That's what I get for cutting. Ugh, so much for first place. It's not even the horse's fault. It's mine, clearly. We're gonna have to just try and book it. Oh, yeah, that was rough. Totally my fault. The race itself was not bad. It's not that difficult at all. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed early again and see if we can't get any... Wait, Spartan, what are you doing in here? Go back in the pasture. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed early again and see if we can't get any wild horses in Rocky Mountain. Really wanna see these dapple grays. Ooh, my hay is re ready to harvest. Oh, there's wild horses at Crystal Lake. Darn. Not the right zone. Well, I guess that's going to give me an opportunity to do races and get some more money. That way we can keep buying tack. Because our horses have to look pretty. I'm going to get to racing. And if I do decide to check out the tack shop today, I will obviously check in with you. But until that happens, I will see you soon. So it's been a couple of days. The horses are have not been to Rocky Mountain yet, but something else did happen, and that is that our foals are now young adults. So let's look at them. Oh my gosh, Annie. <laughs> that horse looks so funny to me. What in the world? Is she just dirty? Let's see how much of this is dirt and what's her actual color. She's just a chestnut Sabino, so she's just very freckly with very red hair. Annie is the most perfect name for this horse. <laughs> okay. Oh, and here is Mini Star, who I have not actually named yet. Uh, Bayron Appaloosa. She's pretty. She's um 
honestly probably not something I'm interested in really keeping. So maybe now that that horse is grown, can I sell it as a young adult? Oh, that means I can sell this other mare too. I can sell Abby. I think I'm going to sell Abby and Mini Star. This dapple gray is so pretty. I love all the sooty colors. The devs did a really good job with um, coloring this horse. Time to sell Mini Star. 15,000, not great. But hey, it's something. Okay, 16.8, I will take it. And then who was the other one I was going to sell? Abby. I remember I fell in love with her though because she's the liver chestnut and I still need one of those. But I'd kind of like a liver chestnut paint or something. We still have granite. Annie. <laughs> There's just something about that horse. I feel like I need to just have her for a little while. Okay, I'm going to try and go to bed again and see if we can't get the prompt to catch some wild horses. Need some money. More wild horses in Crystal Lake. <sighs> it's not the wild horses we want, but I do want to catch one just to sell it. So let's go see what we get. The wild horses are straight ahead. Let's pick the prettiest one so that we can sell it. We've got some roans. We've got a horse that looks just like granite. <laughs> That's so funny. It's like the same horse, except for not blue eyes. The pattern might be slightly different. Yeah, it is different. It's still really funny. Okay, calm down. Ar Ardent Tornado. Oh, he's a gray roan, not a blue roan. So he's slightly different. Okay, we're going to adopt you. And then we're immediately going to sell you. <laughs> nine, just about nine grand. I mean, that's not bad, considering it didn't cost me anything at all. Now the waiting game again. Try to get that prompt for the Rocky Mountain wild horses. Oh, I got distracted, of course, in the tack shop. And look what is for sale. This is the teal blanket. So naturally, I'm going to buy it. I don't want to spend a lot of money because I'm saving up, but I am collecting these blankets. So, oh my gosh, it's really expensive, but I need to have them all. So I'm going to get that and the polo wraps to match. I do like the fluffy halters too, but yeah, I'm not going to spend any more money. That is not my horse. Okay, back to the waiting game. All right, I have been playing for a few hours now and I have enough money to upgrade the pin. Ah, it's going to be painful. $112,000. <laughs> I could buy so much tack with that much money. But I really do want to upgrade these pens so that we can get some higher level horses. So, uh, painful, painful, painful. And how much is this going to cost now? $335,000. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. And I don't even have my training arena yet on my ranch. That is crazy. I've been waiting every single day for, or to get prompted that the horses are in the mountains and it just has not happened yet. I've had a couple of instances of other places and I've actually caught some horses and sold them. Didn't bother recording it though, because you know, it is what it is. Oh, but I did spend some money, of course, in the auction house. And I'm gonna show you what I bought. And I think you'll understand why. Get back home. Oh yeah, and I'm writing Annie. <laughs> and I am gonna sell this horse, I've decided. I know in the video, it'll be like five minutes ago, I just said I was gonna keep her. But for me, it's been several hours and I'm like, okay, I need to sell this horse. Anyway, look, liver chestnut with the flaxen mane and tail. I think that this horse is really, really pretty. She was only 23,000, which is not bad. And I've been wanting a liver chestnut, so I'm happy with her. I think it'll be fun to breed her and see what, what pops out. Okay, back to racing. Woke up and look, finally we have wild horses in Rocky Mountain. It has taken so long to get that prompt. 
So we're gonna immediately run over there and check it out. Back up to 60K, that's not too shabby. All right, we're all tacked up and ready to go. So let's go check out these horses. I really hope for a stallion because I have a lot of mares right now, but I'll take whatever. As long as there's a dapple, I'll be happy. Okay, wild horses, where are you and how can I get to you? Oh, that's gonna be tough. Okay, so the, here's the round pin. And they're all the way in this back corner. Just getting to them is going to be a huge pain. With this map, you pretty much, whoa, you have to stay on the trails. You can't waver from them too much because you won't be able to go down these slopes. And here is the house and shop. I believe on the map it showed that you'd pass those to get to the horses. Oh, I, hurting them to the round pen. Oh my gosh. So we're going to go around this bend. Oh, there they are. Are there any dappled horses? I see a Palomino. Oh, wait, that's not a Palomino. It's like a Dun. Oh, that paint is really nice. I don't think, well, I don't think there's any dappled horses after all that waiting. Oh no. Is this da- oh wait, that one's dappled. It's a Dun Dapple, it looks like. Um, I'd like to take these two, actually. I like that paint, too, though. That one's really pretty. But let's try and get these two into the pen first. So where do I have to go? I could go straight. Okay, that will well, probably work. Nope. Nope. Keep going. Yep, that one definitely has dapples. It's not what I was wanting, though. I wanted one of those smoky dapples, like the one in town. Oh well, let's just get this horse, oh, hit the wall. No, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's freaking out. Do we need to cross the bridge? No, we do not. You need to turn around, horse. It is really difficult to navigate this. Oh goodness. Ugh. Catching horses in this area is just awful. <laughs> There's the pen. I think it's like a uh, dappled black dun. Okay. Quick flame. It's a mare. Dang, I was hoping for a stallion, but... Hey, advanced flexibility, the one stat I really don't care about. <laughs> a dapple black done, exactly what I thought. Well, I'm not totally satisfied with this dapple. I was definitely hoping for something different. I think, oh gosh, is it really worth going and catching those other horses? <sighs> one of them might be a dapple paint. I just couldn't tell. So I'm gonna go back and do the work even though I really don't want to. All right, I'm gonna get a closer look. So I don't see any dapples on that horse. Is this one dapply? Sure wish you would hold still. That one kind of looks like Annie. And then this paint. I wish I could take them both at the same time because these are the two I want to take. Ah, I cannot tell, okay. I'm gonna just take this. I believe it's a buttermilk done. Oh my gosh. Okay, back around this way. Go inside the pin. Nope, nope, nope. Go inside the pin. Go with your friend. I don't think I. S well, maybe there's dapples. Go in. That count as being in. Tall moose. Is <laughs> a stallion. <sighs> my horse is in the way. I'm gonna move my horse out of the way. Not a good place to park. All right, so all intermediate stuff. That's really good. And what is your color? Silver dapper, dapper? <laughs> I mean, he is pretty dapper. Silver dapple buttermilk done. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. So, I like the dapples on this horse more, but the stats are so much lower. 
that I think I need to take this buttermilk done. It makes a lot more sense. And honestly, I like the name Moose for him. It's just, the dapples are so light. But I'm going to adopt this horse. Get some dapples in there. And if I eventually sell him with his intermediate stats, he should be worth a lot. So let's go take a look at him in the barn. Actually, let's divert. Because of course, I have to go by the tack shop. Got some extra money on me. And our new dappled horse. <gasps> See this one. This is the horse I want. So I guess it would be a black dapple. I have to keep my eye out and hope that one eventually shows up. Or, oh, he's a stallion. I need to breed him with a black horse. I need a black mare. Okay, anyways, let's see what's for sale. Wait, I'm in the wrong shop. Got distracted by that horse. <gasps> Ooh, purple blanket. You, you know that's coming home with me. Oh, the black tail bow. Take that too. And the purple western saddle pad. Um, let me talk to you, sir. We need the purple blanket. The purple western saddle pad. The black tail bow. Oh, the saddle's really expensive. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> oh, this is why I can't come in here with money. I wonder if it would tell me if I already own the item or if I'm just buying duplicates. I hope it would let me know. Okay, let's check out this horse's stats. Now, they're not going to be great, not compared to the horse you can buy. Because I haven't upgraded the pin. Oh, gosh. Yeah, they're pretty bad, actually. They could be worse. So, he's pretty. I think he's pretty. And I'm just going to rename him to plain old moose. Let's see some stuff on him. Oh, the purple. I'm so happy to finally have purple. Endurance saddle. Don't have the matching leg wraps though, sadly. Can do pink and purple like my channel colors. <laughs> the bell boots. I do like that dark breast collar though, the dark brown, that's nice. And we've got a black bow and a white bow now. So now I just gotta train this boy up and then breed him and try for some dapples. Well, it took forever to try to get the wild horses in the new mountain area. At least we finally got it. I hope to eventually get one of those black dappled horses because my gosh, they're so pretty. I think the next thing I want to do is try and breed this horse. Maybe look for a black mare to breed him with and see if we can't get a black dappled foal. That would be fun. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, bye guys.